Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nasty Trimester. Well, uh, kind of came across some news. I mean, more or less just being on Facebook and social media, um, just from reading posts, is how I came to learn that a, uh, a very good friend of mine uh, passed away. Uh, very recently and very very unexpectedly and you know how how does this uh, involve AZ Triumster and the channel and, and whatnot well obviously AZ Triumster is uh, you know catered to motorcycling and all that good stuff um, and this person has been involved in, in my motorcycling career since pretty much the first year or so um, in my first motorcycle back in like 06, 07 so um, the person I'm referring to his name is Jim uh, Jim Henson um, and if you've if you're subscribed to this channel and you've watched my videos especially the stuff where I've uh, worked on my 77 I've mentioned Jim in regard to his business, Lightning Signs. That business being custom stickers. See, when I met Jim, uh, I had my, my first motorcycle, which was an 06 Honda CBR 600RR. <laughs> and some somebody, a coworker, a friend, referred me to Jim said because uh, I was looking to customize my motorcycle because it was pretty much all black the fairings were all black and I didn't want to spend the money on paint so I thought you know hey maybe um, vinyl sticker would be a good good thing to try out so I reached out to to Jim I didn't know him at the time and uh, told him what I was wanting to do and I was I've always been hands-on so I wanted to do it myself um, and I didn't really expect it he was going to have a template for cutting out sections of, of uh, vinyl to match the sections I wanted to highlight. So he sold me a roll of red vinyl. I mean, it was a pretty decent sized roll, and he sold it to me for cheap. And so I, I got to work on my uh, my CBR and started doing various things to, to make it look unique and different. And uh, it went very well, and, and that began a great uh, friendship um, between myself and Jim you know a lot of times when folks pass away and you hear about it and you're like wow I barely knew them or I met them once or you know I wish I had stayed in touch uh, luckily in this case um, I can't say those things because I stayed very much in touch with Jim I saw him all the time um, I referred many friends and family to him for, for various th things that they wanted done, whether it was a custom sticker for their vehicle window, you know, like the little family members and stuff, uh, you know, um, even Dean Speed Customs, uh, was in a way close to Jim. Uh, when Dean Speed started in 2016 and it was growing and where there was a logo, we wanted um, a way to share that logo other than business cards. And so stickers was uh, the first thing that came to mind. And we turned to Jim for some custom stickers. You know, Micah, Micah Dean has it on uh, a giant one on his back window of his truck. And so, uh, like I said, he's been very much involved. Uh, I, Other than my CBR, uh, when I had my Sportster 48, um, at the time, I had a, a, a differing opinion about Harley, which I, you know, is differing from what I feel about Harley now. So when it had Harley Davidson across the tank, um, I got a piece of black vinyl from Jim so I could cover it up so it was pretty much devoid of any badging or emblems. Um, funny at the time. But then I got my Yamaha FZ8, and he made a couple uh, custom like giant hammerhead sharks that contoured the tank by request. They were awesome. Um, after that, I got, I had my 81 XS 650. He did custom racing stripes for it and badging for the, the side covers that, that myself and Dean Speed made. Um, had 
Yamaha Bolt and uh, I blacked out the remote reservoirs on the shocks and um, covered up some chrome, like, like a chrome delete, if you will, vinyl I got from Jim. Uh, after that was my victory octane, he made racing stripes for that and, uh, and then at that point that was when Dean Speed came about and there was the Dean Speed logo on either side of the tank. Um, my buddy Anthony with his Iron 883 had some cool custom stickers made for his tank and side covers for a Sportster and uh, geez, I mean, Micah Dean had some stickers made for the side covers of his Triumph T100 and uh, yeah and so on and so on I even had some some stickers made for the slim before I put the aftermarket air cleaner on and then I think the the most at least as far as me uh, most notable for myself is the stickers I've had him make for the XS 500 um, the first set when the tank was that purplish color and then the uh, that was his vinyl and then I wanted something uh, a little different and so I ordered some some uh, carbon fiber vinyl which you know had depth to it it looked like carbon fiber and I brought that to Jim and he put the design that I was looking for in the, in the computer sent it off to the, the, the machine that cuts the vinyl and uh, cut it up Anyways, I guess what I'm trying to relay is, um, you know, it's, you know, it hits pretty hard, you know, when you, when you're that much involved with someone and I'm sharing this with you guys because I've shared with you some of the custom things I've done to motorcycles and, and some of my, my friends that know me personally have shared this stuff and, you know, taken, taken advantage of Jim's, um, expertise, uh, and enjoyed those things. And he was a very talented, um, very friendly, very positive individual. You know, having a business where you run, you know, run it pretty much by yourself, making custom stickers and you have, you know, a kiosk in this mall or that outdoor swap mart and you just kind of go where the business is. Um, he persevered, you know, it was a tough, tough job to do. It's a niche thing and he, he did a fantastic job with it. Um, and I'm glad to have uh, had uh, him as part, in part of my life and, and to have such the impact that he's had on my motorcycling career, my friends' motorcycling careers, Dean Speed. Um, and I will absolutely miss him dearly. Um, my heart goes out to his family, you know, and not just, not just, you know, his family and the community and, and, you know, me at the world losing someone, uh, a fantastic individual, but, you know, the motorcycling community, I believe, has, has uh, lost a wonderful individual as well. So, you know, if you guys are wondering just what else other than what I've shared here, you know, he's he's been involved in, if you look at the Instagram page or the Facebook page, AJ Trimester, or look back at some old videos, you can see just how talented Jim is, Jim was, and, uh, and yeah, enjoy it. So, uh, like the video, guys, um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, gosh, saying those things don't really feel that important compared to the message today but in any regard um, just uh, appreciate the people you're, you're close to um, appreciate those that you come in contact with um, you know and uh, stay healthy and stay safe guys